Well, this is just a quadratic equation. Right, here's the quadratic the equation. All right. And the first thing, <laughs> the first thing we did to it was to divide this part by x, and if we're going to divide this half by x, we have to divide that by that by x. Okay, the equation is x squared minus 5x plus 6 equals 0. And you yeah. know the roots, uh, the two answers are what? Yeah. What are the two answers? 3 and 2. Three and two. Right, okay. So we already know the answers to this. Mm -hmm. Of course, she's done it, mm -hmm. you know, five different ways at least, right? Mm -hmm. Seven. 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 <laughs> the magic number. <laughs> okay. okay. So, all And right. so after we divide the equation by x, this is what we end up with, x minus 5 plus 6x is 0. 6 over x, okay. Yeah. And then the next thing I did was you add 5, and then you add 5 to both sides. So you end up with x plus 6 over x is 5. And then the final thing was to make x equal to 5 minus 6 over x. Okay, so you, you subtracted 6 over x from both sides. Mm -hmm. huh? Okay, and now we've got the final step here, and what do we do with that? Now, this is a thing that you, before the summer, you never saw before, right? Before the summer, did I do the summer? I guess I did it this summer. You did it this summer. You did seven ways this summer, right? Okay, <laughs> so now here's the really key thing of what's happening, and this is something entirely new in mathematics. Not entirely new, but... Uh, Not entirely new. It's, it's related to a lot of new mathematics called fractal geometry, and this is called recursion, iteration. And why don't you explain, uh, where's the calculator? Do we it's think? under. Under here. Okay. We need the calculator. Well, all we did why don't you explain is this? the re all we did to get the recursion, it's program one. Yeah. Oh. Okay. okay. All we did to get the recursion was to take a number and any number that we chose to guess and put it in for that and find out what this number then would be. And then once we found this number, we put it back in here. So we keep putting it, we get a number, uh -huh. and we keep putting it back in. Keep putting the answer that in, we get back the in. The answer back in here. And you keep getting a new number. Until, until you get to one of the answers. Well, it turns out, two. right, the interesting thing yes. that happens is that this is, you get an infinite sequence, right? Uh -huh. And the limit is going to be. One of the answers. One of the two roots of this hmm. equation. Which okay. makes sense. Do you want to? Uh, Okay, and we have that. She, uh, Jenny's programmed this on this mm -hmm. calculator. I see. All right, and she's going to pick a number to put in. Okay, so and let's do say. Do you want me to write them down here? So say I'll we. write them down. Say we enter a number. What are you going to start with? Six. One, six. 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 Okay. And you first, you the first six. number you get when you put six into there is four. Right. Five minus one is yeah. four. Very good. Okay. <laughs> and then once you put four in, you get 3.5, which okay. makes sense too. And once you put that in, you get 3.28. And if you keep going and, and going, and if you keep going, going and going, going and going and going, you <laughs> eventually get three. It goes to three. It goes to three. Now it never gets exactly three. It rounds off to three here, but mm -hmm. it never really gets to three. Hmm. But it goes to three, and the limit of that sequence is three, is three which is three. one of the roots of that equation the two or three and two, and you only get one root from this particular method of there are solving. a lot more particular methods. <laughs> right, there are other methods, and you get the other number for different things. And do we ever get the two numbers? No. Oh, you want a graph? She's yeah. going to show the graph that she made. Yeah. I'll get this here. Yeah. Okay. That's my wonderful graph. That's her graph. A wonderful graph. This is the guest <laughs> number. Graph. The it's wonderful graph. not just any graph. <laughs> right. <laughs> wonderful graph. Like, when you put two in, you get two. Two. That's the only one. That's oh. the that's, only time you get that's two. That's one of the answers. And so you put okay. zero in, you get... Nothing. It blows up. It right? doesn't let you do anything. It, you don't get an answer. You don't get an answer. Because you're dividing by zero. Mm -hmm. can't divide by zero. Now, there are other numbers that where you, it blows up also. Yes. All right? And while I was doing my book, I found this out. Mm -hmm. and I had this graph in my book, he, and he cla so he he wrote in that it, it's wrong. <laughs> the graph is wrong. The graph is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> he put that sentence in. Yeah. Thank you very much, Jenny. For okay. Coming.